Oh, my mommy is uh, Susan Toy. She met my dad in Hong Kong and they got married and they have four kids. One day I went over to her apartment, lucky she didn't lock it, and I found her on the floor and she was drooling and I, I was holding on to her and I said, Mom, just don't, don't die on me. Just stay with me. The doctor said there's no way your mom able to walk again. She would be like a ceiling lift, like she needs people to transfer her to a wheelchair or anything. The social worker wants us to release her to the care home. And I don't want to release her to any care home because she doesn't speak any English and she likes her Chinese food. Like Villa Cafe was formed in 1978 because we were disturbed that numerous Chinese seniors face cultural and language barriers. We wanted to create a home for them, a place where we could provide a culturally sensitive option and ensure that they would be cared for with love, respect and dignity. We did check about six care home before we put her into Villa Cathay. And um, after she came here, she was uh, very happy because um, she likes the food and then um, there's people who talk to her own language and that helps a lot. Given Vancouver's demographics, there will be a growing need for care for Chinese seniors. Paying attention to culturally specific needs such as language, food, religious customs, cultural celebrations can greatly enhance the health and well-being of our seniors. We urgently need philanthropy to significantly transform residential care for our seniors. We want to de-institutionalize our care home and not only how staff cares for the seniors, but also the physical environment to create a true sense of home for seniors. We want to bring a normal life for seniors by maintaining their mobility and preserving independence for as long as possible. Villa Casa is different. Um, it's like a family. They treat my mom like a part of family. This is her home. It's like you're connected with all the frontline workers here and they talk to her every day. And um, when she gets depressed and she's sitting there, they will come out and make her laugh and things like that. Like I know if I'm working and my sister, those guys working, I know that she's in the care home that um, someone would really take care of her not just dump her in the corner and let her sit there and watch TV. I know someone will talk to her and look after her. And that's what we're looking for. Everyone needs a home that provides support for daily activities, and above all, a sense of community and belonging. She has been here for the last six years, and, and uh, she, she loves it here. Great senior care will benefit each of us and we need to start building better senior care today.